Today's episode is dedicated to a good buddy of mine, Kirika. Today's her birthday and they've been a great friend that's been helping me polish up my analysis videos so I want to do something special for them. So I decided to analyze one of their favorite characters of Kamen Rider Double, Kiriko Sudo, otherwise known as the Nazca Dopon. Spoilers for Kamen Rider Double's first 18 episodes ahead. Kiriko is married to Psycho Sonazaki, which makes him part of the Sonazaki family distributing Gaia memories throughout the city of Futo, which turns the users into Dopons that Kamen Rider Double fights. As a character, Kirihiko has a feel to him that I just can't put my finger on. I think it's the actor putting on a really charismatic performance that makes him super likable and charming despite him being an antagonist. Or he's just really darn pretty cause look at him, he's so cute! Kirihiko thinks that distributing the Gaia memories is all for the good of human evolution, but episode 17 and 18, Farewell to the End, things start to change. I'll be focusing on these episodes for the analysis as not only are they Kirihiko's last appearance, but I think they do a good job of summing up what makes him a great character. The two-parter starts with half of Kamen Rider Double, Shotaro, and Kirihiko. Hiko talking at a barber shop, unaware of the other's existence as they gush about how much they love the city of Futo, with Kirihiko gloating that he got to design the city's mascot in third grade and has a special keychain to prove it. However, this wholesome interaction is cut short when the two recognize each other and begin to fight before having to stop. Then the main plot of this arc kicks in as a bunch of kids have gotten their hands on a Gaia memory and are sharing its power with one another. Kirihiko's distraught by this as none of them have a connection port or are old enough to use the Gaia memory which provides harm to its users to the point of several of them ending up in the hospital. Kirihiko looks into what could have caused this and finds out that the Sonazakis intentionally gave the Gaia memories to the kids for experimentation, which goes against Kirihiko's morals. Again, this man truly loves Futo and just wanted to see it become a better place, but as he learns, he wasn't doing that. He was actively harming the city he claims to love. So he helps Double defeat the Dopan of the week and gives him a special keychain, saying to take good care of the city. Kirihiko meets up with Saiko, asking her to run away with him, but Saiko kills him because of her allegiance with the Sonazakis. Farewell to the End is one of my favorite episodes in Double's run. Kirihiko is already a very charismatic and cool villain, but getting to redeem him in a way that makes sense for the character makes him even more interesting to look back on. I am kinda sad they killed him off at the end as I think he had potential as an anti-hero character, but it does increase the love to hate factor of our main villains and the death is well done. Kamen Rider Double in general is a great series that I can recommend to both fans and non-fans of Kamen Rider, and this is only the tip of the great content you can expect in this show.